tube. So I ain't gonna go into a lot of detail on this uh, right here. This is basically a big uh, tub, tub of wear, tub, rubber neck, rubber made. And uh, what I'm building is a, uh, a worm, a worm farm. I went to the bait shop and got me some red wigglers here. So these right here, that's just, just what I like for catching perch and bluegill. And uh, perch and bluegill, probably my favorite fish to eat. So I don't like to buy bait. Um, I've been digging night crawlers out of my garden. Uh, but I decided after seeing a bunch of YouTube videos about dudes growing their own worms. So now a lot of people are doing them for composting, but I want to do them just for... Uh, I'll do compost too. I'm going to do composting too because I'm going to use some compost tea pretty heavy this year. Uh, I'm going to try some compost tea and uh, got some ideas for how I want to do it in uh, hydroponics. Uh, and uh, But these guys here are going to be the... These guys here are going to be the initial brood stock for uh, for fishing and for uh, for that. So you know, basically, it ain't much to it really. You put in uh, leaves and and detritus, you know, brush, uh, grass clippings, and then all your uh, some of your vegetable uh, waste like banana peels, apple peels, uh, lettuce, whatever you don't want leftovers or something from dinner, anything that doesn't have meat. He's trying to escape, man. Man, you're going to have a good life. What are you doing, man? Where are you going? Uh, he's, so, he's so excited he wants to get in the bin before it's ready. <laughs> Put back in there, man. All right. Yeah, so anyway, before my worms all take off on me, man, that's what I'm going to do. But basically, you just put the stuff down in here. Make sure you got good drainage. Lots of holes for air to get in there. And this one, this particular one is going to be indoors so it, I don't have to worry about predators like raccoons or moles or I don't think a mole could break into a rubber made tub anyway, man. Raccoon could. I don't think no mole. I ain't ever heard of that. All right. Peace. Catch you later. I'll keep you posted. What's going on YouTube? So I got a I got so much shit going on today, man. So I just uh, relocated these guys here. These are uh, a couple of the uh, new appearance of this guy over here. See that big one right there. These are uh, the uh, giant freshwater prawn shrimp and uh, they are basically algae eaters. Now if you see that, you see what looks like a shrimp's tail in front of that net pot? That is a shrimp's tail. They molt, okay? They'll shed their skin just like a snake when they go to another size. And that's why, you see all that bullshit I got in there, like uh, wrapped up plastic tubes and net pots and stuff? They need places to hide to get away from each other when they molt. Because just like a crawdad and a creek molts, they, they're real soft. They become a soft crawl, and the other guys will eat them, okay? So they have to be able to get away from each other, and they're real territorial, okay? Uh, they establish territories, and they will fight to the death if they don't have some room to spread out and get away from each other, which is usually not a... That's not an issue in the summertime when you got them outdoors in a big, giant tank. Uh, but these guys right now are just kind of hanging out, chilling uh, in the wintertime because there's snow on the ground outside. So I got them in groups in 10 and 20 gallon tanks uh, just for this winter and then I'll put them back out. And then I'm going to breed them next year. So I'll go over it in more detail with you, but if you do decide to raise them, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of information on the internet about them. But I can tell you one thing, they are tasty on the grill. So it kind of tastes cross between a shrimp and a lobster. You probably had them, tiger, prawn, a similar species. All right. Peace.